Hey guys, my name's Chris, and this is my 2020 Nissan Navara. So before I get roasted in the comment section, full disclosure, um, I'm definitely no mechanic. So I'm just your average Joe, got an office job, like to play games, um, but I also really enjoy modifying cars. So love going camping with mates, driving on the beach, um, all that sort of fun stuff. So I thought, why not take you guys on a bit of a journey with me as I modify my nav? What I want to do though is sort of show you that you can actually do things at home by yourself. Um, you don't always have to take it to a shop to to get things done. So um, I'm not going to be doing anything crazy like we're not going to do an engine swap or anything like that. Um, but I've got a few things planned for the nav. Um, like for example, um, better suspension. Um, new exhaust, um, chuck some rock sliders on there, that sort of stuff. Um, to give you an idea of how much of an amateur I am, um, the winch, I've actually installed it the wrong way around. So, um, yeah, <laughs> actually need to fix that. So that'll be something that I do at some point in time. So I've had help along the way with some of the things I've done at the moment. So shout out to my mates, Ben and Alex. Um, so you guys are legends. So Ben helped me chuck the suspension in there and uh, Alex helped me put the bull bar and the underbody armor on there as well, so. All right guys, we're in the garage with the nav. Um, let's do a quick run over what little bits of fruit we've got on here. So we'll start at the front, work our way towards the back. Uh, so bonnet protector, and we've got the headlight covers, a Tech Futura's Nissan badge is actually meant for a patrol, so it's slightly bigger than the NAV badge, but managed to make it work and get it on there and it lights up. Um, we've got personalized plates, uh, just because I thought it would be a good idea for people to know my last name as I drive around. And running the Runza 11 XP winch. Um, and that's all fitted to the rival front bar. The Arab from UHF up the front there. Um, you'll notice the aftermarket wheels, so the ROH crawlers, um, 17 inch wrapped in the Geo Landers, and the XATs. So I went with the XAT because it's well, cheaper than Muddy's and they do have a bit more of an aggressive size on. So. Um, what else is on here? So we've got Meredith Metalworks. Snorkel long entry. Um, this thing's pretty cool, it makes choo choo sounds and everything. And that, weather shields, I don't know if you can count that. It's pretty much the outside. Uh, in the cab, nothing to report, she's pretty stuck. Um, you can see the UHF down there, really need to get this thing clean. And other than that, have the aftermarket. Um, ultimate performance throttle controller, so not too much going on in here. Uh, underneath, nothing crazy going on underneath here, but um, she's just sitting on a two inch lift, um, Dobinson springs all around. I bought the nav 
um, I had the idea in mind that I would actually go up north, so do a big trip uh, to the north point of Queensland. Um, and now I know you don't need crazy gear to get up there, but obviously anything will help. So um, if it's not going to be this year, it'll definitely be a next year thing. But at this point in time, it's looking like this year will be spent getting the nav ready for that sort of a trip. And then um, practicing, I guess, some four wheel driving in the meantime, and then heading up north at, at some point in time in the future. So by no means am I an experienced four wheel driver or anything like that. But um, yeah, I guess this is what, what this channel is going to be about, bringing you guys along for the ride. So at this point in time, the nav has actually only been off road once. So, um, which might be shock horror to some people. So. Um, yeah, as we start modifying things and, and doing fun stuff to it, um, yeah, I'm bringing you guys along with me.